Hello, and welcome to Week 5, Unit 3 of Application Development for SAP Business by Design. In this unit, we're going to be looking at mashups. Now, we've already built uh, many different screens of our own, extended standard screens. We looked at how to integrate other systems. Now we're going to look at using mashups to be able to bring in data and screens from other systems in another way. Uh, so mashups allow us to not only integrate data from other systems, but even uh, screens and, and views from other systems and be able to embed them and use them in SAP Business by Design. Now there's a lot of different standard mashups that are out there uh, that you could go to uh, any, any screen that's there um, and be able to go into the uh, key user tool, the administration mode, and you could see what mashups are available for that particular screen, whether it's business information, uh, a map showing some type of address. Uh, there, if you go through the Help Center and SAP Business by Design, it'll talk all about what type of mashups are available uh, and where and how to use them. Now there's mashup authoring that's available from the front end. And a lot of that is very similar to what we'll see here uh, in the, the SAP Cloud Application Studio. Uh, but there's some other things that we're gonna be able to do here as far as being able to create what are called port type packages and uh, mashup bindings. Uh, and then we'll also obviously have our content as part of our solution uh, in the SAP Cloud Application Studio. That way we can actually deploy it to other tenants, which uh, if we did something from the front end, we would not be able to do. Um, so we're going to look at uh, a few different types of mashups here, and we're going to build one of them. Um, there's three main types that you might see uh, uh, within the studio itself. There's a URL mashup, uh, an HTML mashup, and a data mashup. Now, a URL mashup, you're actually taking a URL from somewhere, embedding it, and then either showing the result in a screen um, or showing it in some type of response format that's supported for the uh, URL uh, mashups that are there. So, for example, you may do some type of search uh, through Twitter, I don't know, um, and get the result back, and you can show it in a kind of conversation format um, or show something in a graph or a map. An HTML mashup is where you actually embed some kind of HTML code um, or tell it to point to HTML code to be able to be displayed. And then that would be rendered uh, within your screen as well. And we're gonna build that in our scenario today. The last one is a data mashup where you're actually just getting data from somewhere else um, and then also showing it in some type of supported format or utilizing that data within another mashup uh, within the application here. Um, so we'll be able to uh, look at all of these and, and at least discuss them a little bit, and we're going to create an HTML mashup specifically, um, and we'll see how we can actually utilize data from within our, our screens that we've created and be able to pass data into our mashup using imports and outports and be able to then use that data within the mashup. Uh, just some examples uh, specifically around what you could do when, for a mashup or uh, what are common use cases maybe. Uh, one that I see a lot is utilizing um, different screens from SAP ERP within SAP Business by Design. So someone may have a web-enabled screen for a certain transaction uh, or an application they want to display within there, um, and they could bring that in and be able to embed that within SAP Business by Design. Uh, so that way it's part of the process from within their cloud solution, uh, but still being able to work with data in ERP very easily. Um, you also may uh, want to um, query an external source uh, to pull data back uh, using a URL uh, mashup or even a web service mashup. Uh, we haven't talked about those. We'll see those though. Uh, and be able to show that response within the application, uh, whether it's uh, something you show within another mashup or you utilize that data in another way. Um, that's something that we, we commonly see a lot as well. Um, and then even able, being able to take uh, extension fields from your application and, and use them in an external application. Uh, so for example, maybe you have a LinkedIn ID that you store or some other type of ID uh, on a user uh, within SAP Business by Design, and you want to be able to show a mashup of that external system and pass that user ID to it, uh, and then have it show the profile for that person in that other system as a mashup in SAP Business by Design. Um, it's another very good use case uh, for, for different customers that are out there. Uh, so these are just some examples of what's, what's possible. Uh, but let's go ahead and create our own uh, HTML mashup and let's go through the steps. So I'm logged into the SAP Cloud Application Studio with my development user. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a few different things here. First, I'm going to say new item and I'm going to say um, a new port type package. 
now um, mash up PTP. This is uh, basically what defines what kind of imports and it, it stores what imports and outports uh, screens might have, the navigation that's there, etc. Um, for us, we're looking for our object bonus plan. And I'm going to use this so I have a definition of how to pass data into the mashup. Um, the mashup itself will need something behind this, and this is the first step of it is this PTP file. Uh, so let's see, here's our mashup PTP. Let's go ahead and open this up. Uh, we're going to need to model that. Uh, so I'm going to right click and say, uh, oh, I'm going to go into edit mode first. <laughs> and now I can right click and say add a port type. We're going to add a second one. This one I'm going to say um, is the uh, import. And we'll name this one the out port. Right? And let's add some uh, parameters here. So I'm going to add a parameter for this one. And we'll rename that uh, in param. And the outport we'll make as an out param. Great, we'll save and activate that. So now we have a very simple uh, port type package. Uh, obviously, if my data that I'm passing in and out uh, is a little bit more complex, I could define that here and have a more complex structure. For us, we're just going to be passing one field into our mashup, so this import with this one parameter is going to be sufficient. Uh, now I need to create, uh, if I filter by mashups, uh, a mashup port binding. And this is um, what's actually going to be used in the mashup uh, when we create it. You'll go ahead and see it in a second here. Let me go ahead and select this. And we'll refresh it. Um, so when we go to create our HTML mashup, it's going to ask where are we, what, what type of mashup port binding do we want? And there's lots of them in the system. Um, there is many of them in the system that allow us to uh, select for social content, for business content. They kind of help give logical groupings uh, and apply where we can use these uh, port bindings at. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if this comes up. Sometimes it's just a little slow. Go ahead and log out and log back in real quick. And open my solution. There we go. Now I can see it. Uh, let's go ahead and open that. Take a look at this. So this is the, the mashup port binding we just created. And there we go, now it's open. Um, I can say that this is a custom uh, mashup port binding. Uh, I'm gonna say this is social and communication uh, as the category. And um, I need to select then the actual port binding. So here's my mashup PTP that I created, the port type package. You can see it has an import. Uh, if I want, I can also specify an out port. So we'll select that uh, and save and activate it. So now we have to find this. I can actually go ahead and create my mashup. And then once we have our mashup, we can add it to our screen. Let's go back here and create a new item. I'm going to create an HTML mashup this time. And what's going to happen is um, I'm going to have it pass data um, from our screen, some type of data, uh, and then have it call uh, a search API. So let's go ahead and add a new item. Go back and we'll say an HTML mashup. Add that. Uh, so now it's going to open, uh, it's, I, I have to be in admin mode. I already have admin mode switched on here, so it didn't ask me, but if I didn't, it would ask for it. So this is another piece of content that requires admin mode because um, we're going to be re reusing the screens from the front end that we'd see uh, if we were trying to author mashups there. So it's going to ask me here, what's the category, what's the binding, um, and then some other info, and then I'll be able to put in my HTML code. So we put ours under um, social and communication. And if I open this up, I should be able to see here's my mashup, my custom mashup port binding. Uh, let's go ahead and instead of saying a uh, URL, we'll give it some HTML code. And I have a code snippet here I'll be able to put in. 
And basically what we have in this code snippet is um, a little bit of JavaScript and some HTML code. Uh, and basically what's happening is you say, when, when this page loads, call this JavaScript method uh, that is going to first get the import parameter uh, that's passed in. So we're gonna take that data that we passed and whatever it is and store that. And then we're gonna call this uh, a search on the iframe here uh, using Google search actually and having this incoming data be the query parameter. Um, so that way we can embed this in and then ideally what the, pat the data we're passing into it should be searching for Google and we should see the result here. Uh, I can go ahead and do some previewing here if I want, be able to provide some outport data if I want. In this case, we're not gonna do any outports. Um, so let's save and close that. And then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I need to obviously embed this into my application somewhere. Um, so let's go ahead and open my quick activity here. And here's my quick activity floor plan. Um, I'm gonna need to add another row down here. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll add another row. And this time I'm gonna go to my configuration explorer and open up uh, within my folders here. And I should see um, pipes. Things. Here is my mashup. Uh, it's shown under pipes under the mashups. Um, if I look at this, I can see that it's my mashup file. I need to do some binding now to get that data. Um, now we have in here, uh, I could be able to add a navigation. And this has an import, right? Because we added that import in a parameter. But I need some kind of outport to pass the data. And I don't have that yet. So let's go ahead and close this. We'll come back to it. And I'm just going to define a simple outport here. And I'm going to call this uh, rename, uh, we'll call it name out port. Oh, no space. My bad. Name out port. And it's going to have one parameter. And we'll go ahead and say that we're going to pass the um, employee. We'll pass the or the business partner for yeah, description. We'll pass the description. <laughs> um, and I'm going to go ahead and select a uh, port type package here. So the application UI. And use. Actually, I think we can go without. Uh, let's go ahead and just bind this. Now that I have that out port, let's go ahead and bind this here. Bind, great, okay. And save and activate. We are good. So now let's go ahead and preview this screen. So I can either just log in from the front end, um, which we've done a few times, or I can just right click and preview from my screen, my screen from here, um, and it'll open up the browser and I'll be able to log in and, and try it out from this screen specifically. Uh, and I want to start with my owl, right? Uh, I don't want to go straight to the quick activity because there's really nothing there. Um, it wouldn't know what to view. So let's, it's just being slow. We'll go ahead and just open the browser for now. Let it be slow and shy for a moment. And I'll log in with my sales 2 user, 02P, and welcome one. And go to bonus plans. And let's go ahead and take uh, Hello World, for example. Go to edit. So now it should uh, show a mashup passing Hello World to it. And it looks like it's trying to refresh. Oh, well, it came in. Uh, now it's having some trouble showing here, uh, and that's probably just a problem with my mashup. Uh, but this is where we'd actually see it, and it would come in. So let's go to here, the recap. Um, so we can basically use these mashups to show different data. 
uh, and be able to, whether it's from using a, a mashup URL, uh, there's even a data service mashups uh, where web service ones, so we could call a SOAP or REST-based web service um, to be able to get some info uh, and bring that back and use that in our mashups. And then we can uh, show either also uh, data mashups where it, it takes some form of data, whether it's from one of these URL mashups or a web service mashup and shows it in some format like a map or a, gra a graph, um, or in this case, uh, HTML mashup. So then we can actually give it some HTML code to try and show something. Um, so that's mashups. Uh, that's the end of this unit. In the next unit, we will look at forms and form development. Thank you.